Yes, finally, finally, finally! Though, of course, I'm back with another pretty quick. So, of course, though, we actually get some new news slash info, of course, for Dragon Ball Hero Celebration. Some pretty cool, interesting stuff, like I said, though. Um, again, like I said, I was actually going through the campaign. I was like, oh, yeah, I noticed the Silverstone was here. I actually didn't do a video for it, though. So, I'm going to go over what you should get with the Silverstone. Um, I actually probably do like, last kind of computer recording for now because I got nothing to really record and I'm not jinxing or saying anything like that. But, of course, I know what I said. But, yeah, the Silverstone is actually available for the Dragon Ball Heroes campaign. So, I figured I was like, okay, I'm going to heck the heck of it. I always do it with every video anyway, though. Again, it's for both Global and JP. You can actually purchase either or. Yeah, so this is Silverstone again. Like I say, you can select pretty much any Dragon Ball Heroes you want. And these two are probably going to be honestly, one of the best ones. Super Saiyan 3 Zeno Goku and probably like Super Nerf Time are probably honestly going to be the best ones, though. You should care. I'm just saying that right now. They're probably all honestly the best ones on there. Uh, just because we don't have any DAs for the rest of the unit, though. So, again, next year they could be disgustingly broken. The easy as this year are actually pretty decent. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Gohans was pretty okay. That was pretty okay. Uh, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, AGI one was actually pretty good, actually, just a little bit updated. I was saying those were like, um, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, again, a lot of good, just, again, all, they're decent, though, I want to say. They're pretty okay. I don't know, compared to, like, the easiest we've gotten the last couple of times, it's just that they seem pretty okay, just in general, though. This is the new Dragon Ball Heroes banner, just in case you've been living under a rock. And this, of course, is the easy A banner. Again, like I said, I'd say something first, probably, and see what you get. Then, probably select, like, what you're going to get with the um, Silverstone. But, honestly, though, I don't really think it's, like, worth it, though, because just because you're going to summon and get these guys anyway, though, so. Honestly, it's really kind of not worth it, though, just because it's, like, 40 bucks. I don't really think it's worth it to get a Dragon Ball Heroes unit. You can easily get in here, but those units are kind of harder to pull now. Just kids are like going to like first pick out time, like I am. Um, you know, just waiting and stuff like that. That's why I say some on here better every single year, just in case, because again, like I said, um, very, 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 like I said, um, these units again, like I said, they change the pull chains every year, and it's gonna be harder and harder to get these older units. So, like for example, this is the easy banner for JP and Global, right? The easy for all the easy units. Um, yeah, like these are all the old units from last year. Again, not, not, it's basically like an old banner kind of like they literally just put the better kind of two because these are like all the old units and uh, on the higher ones, of course. Like I said, these are like all the old Dark World Heroes units, even the ones from like last year, um, the ones from the year before, stuff like that, of course. Um, then, of course, the category system has like all of, them, all of them basically, though, all of them, though. So it's kind of again like harder to pull, like, uh, really, really, really what you want here, though. I'm just saying in general, though, it's gonna be really, really hard and difficult to get really get what you want here. So just, just kind of like be cautious and stuff like that. Just trying to tell you guys again, like I said, though, um, yeah, um, it's gonna, again, like I said, it's gonna be harder and harder to pull these guys every single year. Um, like, it's gonna be one Toa, Demon, like, Demon God, or Dark, was it Darkness Toa? Or Demon God is Toa? Demon God is okay. Um, you want her, for example, it's going to be harder to pull her because, again, like I said last year, she was a feature unit. Super Saiyan 3 Bro, Super Saiyan 4 Broly, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Still, we're saying that now. Um, but yeah. Super Saiyan 4 Broly, again, like last year, the Heroes Unit's actually really good last year. A lot of people really want that. Next year probably will be, um, you know, this guy plus full power, um, guy, full power Super Saiyan 4. Um, a lot of people really want that next year. Well, honestly, I think that's going to be an LR because this year we got Easy A's. A lot of people really want Easy A's last year. I think it's my third or fourth video saying that. Um, Easy A's for that last year, and a lot of people um, kind of got what they wanted, though. Um, makes sense because last year was the very first Doku Fest, this year was the very first Easy A's. Next year will be the very first LR. I feel like LR for Power Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta will be an LR, honestly, though. And I don't know, they could drop a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, it was Blue Vegeta because next year, I know this year we had God Trunks. So bring the, you know, the next hero like mission. I think next one is Super Saiyan Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Zeno, you know. You know um, but, you know, I think, uh, I think even, like, say, last year was Super Saiyan 4, the year before that was, like, I think, like, the introduction to heroes and stuff like that, though, so, yeah, it's kind of weird and wonky, though, but I'm just saying in general, though, so if you want to just summon, try, I feel like saying summoning every year is not enough, again, summon, summon, summon every year you can, it gets only literally 50 stones, you'll get every feature unit, is literally just every hero's unit from past, present, and future, so, really heroes in a nutshell, past, present, future, everything, though, so, yeah, um, but yeah, like I said, though, um, summon every year, make sure I summon every year. I'm saying it now, please summon every year because these shoes are worth it. You're not going to probably get God Trunks next year or the year after that, though. I'm just saying in general, you're going to be feeling really, really stupid when you um, realize you can't get God Trunks. Like, oh, I mean, you could pull him, but theoretically, but it's also like, like, why would you wait, though? Like, again, like waiting like this every year is not really healthy just because, again, like I said, you're not going to really get the humans at all, though. Just saying in general, though, so honestly, I say probably something, but you can't get the timing right and everything. Try some, you may get a couple of stones, but you know, for example, if you're present, you want to buy stones, 
I mean, just like all on the hero's banners, you know, got the units rainbow or whatever, though. So, uh, go ahead, that's your preference and stuff like that. And so, at the end of the year, we'll get like the New Year's Depot banner. Again, like I said, it's like way near the end of the year, though. So, you have a lot of time to wait. It's probably what I'm going to wait for after this, though. Probably wait for that Depot banner. You do get a guarantee a lot at the end of the uh, multi. Some of that, I should put that up. But whatever. Um, I didn't mean, have one last year, year before, year before that, I think, though. So, it's like, really no reference. I'll like to put the video somewhere around me up above one of my videos. I did so many of those already, though. So, um, I get the one from last year, just like going over the banner and stuff like that specifically though. But in general though, like I said, um, here's you just try some of them every single year you can because again, they're really worth it, they're really good in general and stuff like that though, of course. So like I said though, really worth it to get, they're all worth it in their own ways and stuff like that though, they're all good. Um, yeah, even the easy 8 banner, if you just, again, and it's discounted too though, and you're going to be guaranteed feature one of these units though. So like, you know, like I said, Darkness Hill is really good. Maybe the is actually just like, really like the Nepo though, he's really good. Um, so this is the Gohan pretty good. Um, so again, they're all good after the easy A. Like they're all pretty decent though. So again, like broken game playing broken like easy A's, but um, besides the part I wasn't, you know. I'm drunk with but yeah. Um, but like I said though, if you really want to get some patch units in here, probably someone on this banner again it's discounted, you don't have to waste as much stone so there's only three multis though, but and again like I said though, if you want to get, if you really 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 want to get those old units again, it's only three multis, you get get to feature in the multi, even though like every hero's unit on here is every unit literally on here, every SSR you pull is gonna be hero's unit and vice versa for the cost of the banner. Again, they're both really 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 worth it though. This one's gonna be more you're gonna get probably one of these in your multi and just get like if you get like super Saiyan three trunks, go tanks. Adult Go Tanks, Adult Go Han, again, it's gonna be Darkness Tell Wars, again, the old use are all really good. Blue Bobby's actually, Blue Bobby's actually pretty decent. Black is gonna be really good, again, like, like I said, for like, Sir Battle Road and stuff like that. I actually made a whole easy video for them, I just, like, like long ago. Yeah, like I said, though, we can't actually get into stone cells, and this is the Silver Stone Appearance for this year. Really crazy, kind of, when I saw this in the day of down, I had a whole day of download video on this, I was like, what the heck, I don't think that I can drop it anymore, because I might have to scrap it anymore, can we go, just because I was already too late by the time I uploaded it, I was so busy. Last week and this week because of Thanksgiving. Now that's over, I can actually sit down and relax a little bit though. Man, I have some sad recordings to do. Mobile, I actually just really mobile recording. Even then, it's like I can do this literally at any time. I think they're behind like what? I think we've three or four to confess. I was like, yeah, I can do that anytime once on the weekend or whatever though. So I just come back and talk about the units and stuff like that though. So, um, yeah. And then, like, I made, like, a month or two or whatever, though, so, yeah. Do go over here and choose which, which one you should get. And, yeah, like I said, probably some of first or you've been playing to buy on. I feel like if you just, you know, don't care, you just want to. Again, like I said, every SSR you get on the Heroes banner is literally going to be, um, like, um, every time you, and my eyes are looking worse. Um, every time it's on the Heroes banner, it's literally just an SSR. So no matter what you get, whatever that was gonna again, like I said, give me SSR. Every all these heroes and units are gonna be like, on the banner no matter what though. So again, very simple, very easy stuff. Like I said though, um, but yeah though, um, go over, probably over, go over which one you should get. Again, there's a lot of units on here. Which ones you get? But that again, it's gonna be for both Oval and JP. No need to rush. Don't need to go crazy. Again, like I said though, plus a not really worth it for like a pay. They don't pay at all. Just something on the banner. Look at lucky, get lucky, and just walk away. Because again, like I said, this huge units gonna be back next year. I know I say, oh yeah, it's not really, you know, it's worth it. Again, like, the buying stones, you really don't have to do that, though. I don't think it's really worth it, just in general. Just paying 40 bucks, just get one uh, one hero unit. I don't think it's really healthy. I feel like just summon and get lucky. But if you're hunting, like, a specific unit, you don't have, you know, to go with the whole collection like I am. Because I pretty much hit up everything for heroes pretty much. So I think last year I got like, really lucky and pulled everything pretty much in one go. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm done. So, yeah, I got pretty lucky last year, though. So, I did some, I did that my final video. Let me link in the app above. So I might like, like all my Dragon Ball Heroes videos in the app above over here or like you know, at the end of the video. So yeah. Go go with you, you should get and stuff like that. Again, there's a lot of units on here. Um you love to have easy A, so it's kinda of hard to take it. It's gonna be kind of really like a really big no. But even even if they got it, easy A's actually pretty decent. Just start at the top. So this is a good team's actually a pretty decent unit though. I really want to say it's really not worth it though, but it's gonna be really, really good if like the second deck and stuff like that. But honestly, I'll probably say it's really not worth it. Pycon, probably Super Pycon, probably not really because it's just really for some battle rope. Again, you want to get a unit that's going to prioritize beyond a lot of teams and stuff like that. You want to be like, okay, links, categories, kind of teams get help out what kind of teams get above in general. Honestly, I say probably that maybe a little bit though. But again, he's probably not really. Good things actually pretty decent as well. He can help out with a lot of damage, but that Super Saiyan 3, so the battle rope can use a lot more help though, so I probably reckon him, man, him maybe. Maybe Janemba, pretty okay though as well. Like I say, he's really just like every Janemba to dodging and stuff like that, pretty much 10 gang, so. Take it with a grain of salt. Blue Bobbity, probably not though, because again, you had to be 80% or more, you know, with the with your pelters of line, tap out your allies, and give them defense. But they did that before, they just updated a little bit more. So, it's in three, don't go Han, again, like I said, um, pretty okay though. He actually does give crit, 
Um, I think we have like a, we have a lot of like set three more because I think he gets crit. We have seven more that he reduces damage, I believe. Though, so you either take that with the grand soul, go either or crit. You want to go crit or you know additional, you know, kind of in your favor. But like your battle, for example, getting like all his own flies, like you probably get seven or more heat spheres. Probably not see that crit as often though, so probably really not. Maybe though. Like, like I said, Super Saiyan 3 doesn't need help though, so you want to get him for a five state, maybe, probably not, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say, like, no and yes and stuff like that though, so, um, yeah. Um, Super Saiyan 3, um, Trunks right here, uh, good Trunks, I would say, I'd probably say Gap, because again, he's gonna tank, he's been good since day one, he's gonna tank for you, he's gonna, um, have his guard up and stuff like that though, like I said, I was gonna have high chance guarding, he's gonna tank. Um, he's actually really good for Super Battle Royale, and I probably highly recommend him. He's actually really, really good, though. Um, Dr. Souls is another really good unit. She helps out, she really helps out hero and villain units. I uh, mainly villain a little bit, though, but again, hero and villain units, it's actually really good because it prioritizes and balances both units out in general, though. You should actually, again, like, like I said, it's really, 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 really good for her kids and stuff like that, though. It's really, really good. I'll probably only say, probably go ahead and get the probably one of those two that actually are both really, really worth it. Zero Super Saiyan 3 Goku, yes, he's amazing. He's awesome. I use him all the time on my team. He might share any limit. But he is good. He probably would the but him and we kind of time are probably two of the best ones on here. Like it like the best four on here are probably like these four. I say any of those are actually really good, but Xeno Goku and Shimon Cop Time are definitely worth it though. Um so yeah, general. I think they're definitely, definitely worth it in general. Like they're good. They're disgusting. They've been good since day one. Again, if they got easy eights out, they don't need to change anything for them. They're good. Like uh, what are they gonna give him? Like Goku more guard? What are they gonna give I can't, what's, it, what's it gonna give Goku like key three more cards stuff like that though? Because pretty much cards against every attack, he's gonna tank. Uh, he has super, he's good on Super Saiyan three teams. If he had a perfect battle over the flash, actually it would be insane. But yeah, even though all these Super Saiyan three dudes have open the flash, and they use that's why they would usually do like together. But back in the day, like uh, like nine key basically back in the day, six key. That was good. So yeah, for like all the OG different players and stuff like that though, of course. Though, but yeah. Um, so the DVD is probably not because a lot of people don't really use him that much. He's actually really good with his crit and stuff like that though, because he does get crit um, for more during what heroes you can throw on the team. But I don't really see a lot of people using that much. I didn't really even use him that much either. I think he helped me out with Super Mario for a little while, and then I was like, yeah, I got to this guy out. Sorry. He was going to do products for a little bit more work to go. And yeah, he, like, he can just face. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we got time definitely worth it. Like I said, like Xeno Goku, they're both like these four. Or probably worth it the most out of all of them. Again, like I said, it's kind of hard to be like, no, no, no. Just because, again, they're going to get, like, easy A's probably next year, though. We don't know what they're going to be like. Hey, maybe like the Silver Stone wants some more, though. So, again, it could be a little bit different, though. So, yeah, really worth it. These four are worth it. Probably these two are the most. Again, either or would be really good. Honestly, if I had to pick one, probably Super Craft Dom, also. She's really good. I like, got all these years. So, she, um, she basically seals half the time on her Super Attack. She, I think, I don't think she's always attacking the fence, though, but... He's a really, really, really good unit though to get. The um, Demigra's final form, I'm not gonna recommend, I say I'm not gonna form, I'm not gonna form. Um, probably not though, again, he's really just a villain support unit though, really nothing crazy. So the mirror, probably not, I don't use it. I, I use Demigra more than, uh, I really use Demigra a little bit more than Mirror, but again, like, so for culture purposes though, to get it, not really worth it. Eh, probably not really worth it either though. Dark Mask King's actually really, really good. Another really decent unit on here. I actually used him a little bit. He's actually really, really good though, too. Another really good well, stuff's worth the unit in here. So, um, yeah, the Minos are really stuff. I actually have Blue this one for the video. It's getting on my really, it's really getting on my nerves. But yeah, Dark Mask King's actually another not a bad unit either though. Um, I don't know what's going to be doing in the mask anyway though, but yeah. Um, next year we get Super Saiyan 3 Rose, probably, hopefully. Probably not though, but, um, well, they could push him though. They could just like, well, yeah, we're just going to push him for them together. But, so, um, yeah, because then they did actually split up the banner this year though. Like all the old units on the EZA banners, and you can have a good GP jerk, like, you know, any of those units pretty much. Um, and like, say, even for the guy, like, the guy, the, the new banner, the hero banner, and stuff like that, it's still really worth it. Yeah, Dark Mask King's pretty okay though. Again, like I said, nothing crazy or whatever though. He actually does lower attack defense. He does a lot to help out Vegeta family. Maybe a little bit though. You're not going to probably use him like that much, that much though, but he's pretty decently okay though. I'll say not really worth it though, but he's oh, he's pretty. I use him a lot. It's actually pretty decent. And Darkness Hole was on here though. The um, Demon God's Hole was on here. Yeah, that'd be worth it though. But um, yeah, they can have a time because some of these are the old units like the beginning of Heroes Juniors, like it, you should have gotten like day one. Even I don't even have, I don't even have like half of I don't even have like the Dark Mass, like, Dark Mass Hand. So yeah, basically the Vegeta stuff like that. You can tell it's, it's just his universe is going to take off the helmet though. Because they have they time break, like they control Vegeta, then he just breaks it off and just goes Super Saiyan 3. Though, so yeah. Um, he's, he was actually really good when he first came out though. I can't really, I can't really wait to see his EZA. 
But probably not really worth it right now, though. Again, like I said, you could probably get someone and probably get him to some of that. I love how his hair is, like, clipping right there. I just love that, though. So, yeah. Um, Sealess, um, he does actually transform. He actually is really good, though. Um, well, he transforms stuff like that, though. But he doesn't really have any defense, though. So, probably, I was say not really worth it, though. He's actually, um, pretty okay. Um, again, I see he actually is pretty decent, though. I'll probably maybe recommend probably getting him, though. He's actually pretty okay, though. But probably not, maybe. I don't know, because these units are just each really badly. This guy, probably not know. These two, oh my lord, they're pretty much the same unit for Goku and Vegeta Family specifically. They can be really, really good for getting, like, a separate, like, um, um, really, like, for Goku Family and Vegeta Family support. They are really worth it to get as well, though. So, like I said, really, really worth it to get, though, in general. So, I'll probably say pick up one of those two, because they're really, really worth it, though. So, yeah. Cobra, another really worth the unit. He's good for Super Battle Royale. His base form is still good. Every time he attacks an enemy, uh, every time a superhero, I think, enemy, or just in general, Super Cuts enemy attacks him. Um, like great enemy attacks him in general, um, he's gonna um basically stun them. Is a is a may chance, or like a high like a low like a high chance, or like a maybe medium chance. But he's worth it as well. The comfort's really, really good. Again, he helped me on Giant Super Battle Road, lowering attack defense. He's really good, decently tanked. He does transform into great aim. ASC to help me out with a lot of damage, though. He's really, really worth it and getting to get and stuff like that. Few, he's actually really good as well, though. Again, like I said, another really, really good unit. But again, like I said, you're probably not gonna probably maybe use him that much, though, because I really use myself, though. But probably not, maybe. I won't say yes and no, probably, because you're never gonna probably use him anyway. Golden Cooler, really another good unit. I probably recommend getting him as well. He's actually a really good unit as well for a hero. Like the team is up like that. Yeah. Those are really good winners. Um, really good for the team and stuff like that though. But also in general though, again, he has to age a little bit though, just because he's tanking and his um support and stuff like that though. But yeah, he's got a really decent support unit. So I probably honestly recommend picking up him as well, though. He's actually really good. Um Hunter for Janks, again, like I said, he just got his Awakening and stuff like that. You're probably always gonna pull him, like, in the Z, like all the new Awakening units, probably anyway, though, so, um, yeah. But yeah, like I said, though, Vajanks is actually pretty decent as well when he's on, you know, easy, uh, um, uh, Doku Awakens and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, though, um, he probably always be really worth it, though, when we get into all that, though, um, because he does a good Super Shane, he does even really tactics defense and stuff like that, though. Um, I would say, like I said, you're probably gonna summon and give these guys away, though, so it doesn't really, like, really matter. These are pretty much kind of like the same thing in a nutshell, pretty much after, like, you know, they awaken and stuff like that. They're pretty much both the same exact unit, you know, though, honestly, though, so, yeah. Was it why say really worth it? Probably Golden Cruise really worth it. These two actually, these three actually were really worth it. Um, these two are, these four, actually, though, are probably really, really worth it. And these two, out of everybody, are probably the best two. I'm honestly going to say pick them both, honestly, out of all that, though. So, yeah, it's pretty much I want to kind of cover Gorilla today, you know, like I said, but those kind of killing me. I mean, this is, like, just going off the road right now. I don't even know what's going on. I think it's like half stuffed though a little bit though, so that's probably why. But yeah, I would get like I said, um, so we got times, you know, the Super Tanker Goku really worked it. Comfort's really good. The um <clears throat> no, um the base form Xeno, Goku, and Vegeta are both really worked it. Um and Golden Cooler uh, in Comfort. Like those three right here are really good. Um Golden Cooler's pretty decent though. I'll probably say if you want to pick him up, go ahead. Probably he's actually pretty decent though, but again, like I said, you probably gotta use more value, I think, yeah, Xeno Goku, I don't know, I'm not joking though, Xeno Goku and, um, Pacific God of Time, Dr. Stella, so the three trunks are probably really worth it, okay, like I said, these two are ones worth that all of them, so that's pretty much what I want to cover, cover them today, though, of course, though, so yeah, see you guys later, though, thanks for watching, have a great day, great life, all good, you know, make sure stay safe, watch your hands, God bless all of you, I'll point out, point out, match on paper, really, really need to, I already paid my words, I don't know why my throat is dried up, my nose is getting my nerves, so I really got into the video for my nerves. So what I think about all this info, though, of course, like you hate it again. Very simple stuff, very easy stuff, like I said, though. Um, but yeah, um, since they Goku, so we got time, worth it out of everybody. Comfort's really good, The um, these two are actually really worth it. Golden Cruise is actually really decent, I'll probably say we pick them up if you want to. These, again, these two are disgustingly good, but we want to go for more options, these two are really good. These three are really good, and Golden Cruise is pretty decent as well, like I said, though. Really good, really good. Um, really good. Recommend, honestly, recommend both of them. I don't care. Get both. And you only get one by saying, probably get Zeno Go for a drink out that though. So, yeah, yeah. But get both of those. They're really worth it. They're good. They're amazing. Probably the best units on the, you know, I, I have these here, Hero Humans, though. So, um, yeah, of course. See you guys later, though, you know? Peace out.